brand new revival of Bear will be heating up new world stages this winter, telling the tale of forbidden love in a strict Catholic high school. We're here to talk to the brand new cast in rehearsal. What is it about this story that you love personally? Well, Bear is about, um, it's set in a Catholic co-ed boarding high school. Um, and it's just about this group of teenagers and their relationships with um, each other and themselves and faith. Uh, and I just think it's, it's going to be really exciting for audiences to watch and it will remind them of their own adolescence or maybe let them know that they're not alone. I think people are perhaps more ready than they ever were to hear um, this message. Um, it may not be as, as so new uh, to everyone um, because the, the human rights campaign has been going on for a couple of years now. It's exciting to see where it can go and, and to be a part of a show that, um, that means something to people. I think a, a show like this really helps people understand the difficulty of coming out and of acceptance and so I, I really think that that will give people an idea of, of what people are going through and create some compassion. You know when you have a, a score that cannot be denied it, it, it is it is infectious it is uh, visceral it speaks in volumes when you have a story that feels very immediate when you combine all of those elements together that to me is what makes exciting theater. An exciting piece of musical theater is when a score and a story and a performance all come together in this glorious black box and create magic. There's been a lot of changes in the show. Were you familiar with the show before you got involved? I'm not. I, I wasn't familiar with the show at all until I was brought into this uh, process. From what I know of the old show and this show, this show is very streamlined. It's streamlined into the story of uh, these two boys, Jason and Peter. Um, and really made them the, the focus of the of the whole uh, arc, and I think that you know there's a lot of, of meat there for, for these two young actors. There's a lot for um, everybody, for for a lot of the kids. The the texture of the show is is amazing. So you're going back to high school. Going back to high school. I feel like I've been in high school since I graduated with the shows I've been doing. The set just transports you. It really takes you to the Catholic boarding school. So once I'm on stage and I'm in my costume, I really do feel like I'm 16 years old. It is the strangest feeling. It's been interesting to go, like, kind of like go back in time and like honestly like read some of my old diaries and been like, wow, I really was that angsty when I was a child. Um, but yeah, so this is like who I go to high school with. And it's interesting to like plop people who have become my friends into like roles that I didn't necessarily care for when I was like 15, 16. And I feel really privileged to be able to speak for that teen group, you know, that is going through all these things, all these changes in themselves and in society and, you know, so it's, it's been amazing to like, to be able to do that. Who should come out to see Bear? Who should come? Everybody, Everybody should come out to see Bear. Everyone. Everyone should come out to see Bear. If you like rock music at all, you should definitely come see it. Um, if you like musical theater at all, you should come see it. If you have gay friends or not, you should come see it. Everyone knows what it means to, to fall in love. Everyone understands the, the, the difficulties about uh, loving relationships. So that universality is what I believe is going to transcend the material and transcend the experience to a, a, a wide range of, of, of audience members who want to experience something alive and visceral and kinetic and uh, feel.